Hello everyone, I'm Dorotea and I'm at the Wando Public Library here to bring you a virtual Tales and Travels. Today we're going to go to Japan. It's a place I've been to and loved very much. Today the place we're visiting virtually is Osaka Castle in Japan. Have you ever been to Osaka before? Osaka Castle is a historical landmark that was important to the unification of Japan during the 16th century. Today, the building you see is a reconstruction of the original. Today, the inside is a museum. Have you ever seen a castle? Did it look like this one? Osaka Castle took 14 years to build. The regent of the time Toyotomi Hideyoshi wanted it to be bigger and grander than the previous regent's castle, so he kept adding more features to the design as it was being built. What else can you think of that took years to build? In Osaka, imagine crossing a long, curved bridge over a beautiful moat filled with water that reflects the blossoming cherry trees surrounding it. The intricate gold trim on the towering castle shines in the sunlight. What people would you see there? Now I'm going to read a legend from Japan. This legend is called Momotaro the Peach Boy. Once there was an old man and woman who were lonely because they had no children. Every day, the man went to the forest to chop wood, and the woman went to the river to wash clothes. At the river, the old woman saw a huge peach drifting in the water. She took the peach and brought it home for their dinner. The old man marveled at the size of the peach, but when they prepared to cut into it, a human voice inside the peach cried out, telling them not to cut it. The next moment, the peach split open and a boy popped out. The man and woman were delighted and named the boy Momotaro, that is, Peach Boy. Momotaro grew strong and when he was about 15 years old, he said to his father, I want to go to Demon Island and stop the ogres from terrorizing the people. The old man was very proud and gave Momotaro a sword and shield and the old woman gave him dango, which are dumplings, to keep him strong on his journey. On his way, Momotaro came across a dog. The dog growled and was going to attack Momotaro, but the boy told the dog he was going to Demon Island to fight the ogres. The dog agreed to help him for a dango. Later, Momotaro and the dog came upon a monkey. The monkey and dog began to fight, but Momotaro stopped them. He explained to the monkey that they were going to Demon Island to fight the ogres, and the monkey agreed to help him for a dango. When they were near the island, Momotaro, the dog, and the monkey came across a pheasant. The dog, the monkey, and the pheasant were about to start fighting, but Momotaro explained to the pheasant that they were on their way to Demon Island to stop the ogres. For a dango, the pheasant agreed to join them. Now, Momotaro, with the dog, the monkey, and the pheasant, who do not normally get along, were ready to face the ogres. They arrived at the gate. The pheasant distracted the ogres, and the monkey opened the gate. It was a great battle. The pheasant pecked, the dog bit, the monkey clawed, and Momotaro slashed with his sword. The ogres surrendered. The ogres bowed to Momotaro and promised never to be evil again. They gave their vast treasures to Momotaro and his companions. Once they had traveled back to Momotaro's home, the old man and woman, the dog, the monkey, the pheasant, and the hero Momotaro all lived happily ever after. This tale was adapted from several tellings found online, but no specific authors were mentioned.